Hey guys, continuing from the couple of uh, gesture series video I've been doing for Titanium Studio or Accelerator Titanium, starting with uh, sliders, not sliders, swiping, two touch, uh, vibration, and I think I did another one, but I forgot. Oh well. Uh, in this video, we are going to be looking at phone orientation. That means uh, putting your phone, landscape, portrait, and so on, face, sound face up and stuff. And I'm going to uh, write a couple codes so that my app reacts to the phone orientation. So if it goes to landscape, I want it to say it's landscape. If it goes to portrait, I want to say it goes to portrait and so on. So first of all, let's create a window like usual. Uh, Tie.ui.create, not create, ah, uh, create window. And I'm just going to set the background color to my usual white. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is set a property to our window. So win dot orientation mode, orientation modes, and that is going to be in an array, like so. And inside that, I am going to write uh, four uh, values: tie dot dot ui dot uh, portrait tie dot ui dot upside portrait there we go uh, tie dot ui dot a uh, landscape left and lastly tie dot ui dot landscape landscape right like so uh, there's a couple of other ones apart from these uh, I'm going to write it quickly in my comments there's uh, face up face up where your phone's facing up there's face down when your phone's facing down and there's also unknown when you don't know what it is now in order to access these uh, array values we uh, use numbers so this is going to be one this is going to be two this is going to be three and this is going to be four oops like so and what we're going to do is we are going to be creating a gesture uh, so that when our orientation is either one, two, three, four, one being portrait, two being upside down, three being landscape uh, facing left, and four is landscape facing right, we want the phone or the app to react to it. Okay, before we do that, we are just going to quickly uh, create a label. Our label equals tie.ui.create label. So many typos. Texts is going to be like rotate me. Uh, height is going to be auto and width is going to be auto as well and lastly we are going to be creating a button now I'm not going to add any uh, event listeners to this button because there's not much point to it and I want to keep this tutorial short now the reason why I am adding a button to this app is because I want to show you how a button and a label that I created above interacts when your phone uh, rotates so it's going to be a simple button with no special features and nothing hap Nothing will happen if you click on it. Let me get a bit of more space here. There we go. And the last thing or the penultimate thing we're going to do before we add our uh, label and button to a win and write window open is write an event listener. So we say tie.gesture.add event listener. And what we're going to be listening to is the orientation change. And for our callback function, oops, not P, we are going to be creating a series of if statements saying if uh, the orientation is equal to one, one being portrait, we want our labeled text dis to display a certain text and so on from two to one to four. So if e dot orientation, orientation, equals one we want it to be uh, like text for portrait and then else if e dot orientation equals two we want it to be a uh, text for what is it upside down and so on so let me just quickly write all the if statement e dot orientation equals three and else if e dot orientation equals four.
there we go that's it and don't forget the semicolon at the end before, otherwise it's going to be an error so over here I am going to say label dot text equals a portrait and I'm going to copy this and paste it into my other uh, if statement codes that's going to be executed if that equals true I'm going to change that to I think that's yeah upside down down and I'm going to change this the third one to uh, landscape left yeah landscape left and I am going to change this one to landscape right okay so that's all done and the last thing we're going to do is window add label label and window add button although the button is not going to do anything it's just going to be there and lastly window open okay so I am going to save my app.js and run my iPhone simulator so I'll see you in a bit okay so my iPhone simulator has loaded and now I can uh, test my app now uh, even if you rotate your computer or your screen sideways obviously that's not going to do anything and that's not going to rotate the iPhone itself however luckily for us uh, the iOS simulator is clever enough to be able to have support for uh, rotation so if you go to hardware just like when we did for oops, again for the shake gesture we are going to do the rotate left and rotate right so if I click rotate left it's going to rotate left once and it says landscape left because landscape left is when the phone is facing to the left so the head of the phone is this side now if I go back again and do rotate left again or I could use the shortcut which is command uh, an arrow key left or right I think it's going to be control arrow key for Windows so if I right, say command left it's going to go upside down so basically it's going to be the upside portrait which is number two which is going to say uh, upside down uh, in the label text because of my uh, if statement with the uh, either orientation now coming back to my iOS simulator I'm going to press uh, command left again and it's going to go to landscape right now and uh, to coming back to my button as you can see even if I uh, rotate my iPhone to the left right portrait default mode or upside down the button both both button the text inside the button and the uh, the text in my label is going to be what do you call it in the correct uh, what do you call it it's not it's not going to be sideways it's not going to be upside down by default it's not going to uh, change so you won't be your button text will always be readable and it will be always on the correct what do you call it uh, upright position if that's the right word to say it hope you get what, it, what I'm just trying to say it won't be like written to the side it's basically automatically adjusting its position in order to be able to uh, be readable and yeah like so okay so that was a quick video on uh, phone rotation landscape portraits upside down and stuff so uh, yeah Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.